Hey, folks, welcome to In the Money Stocks. Dot com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Wednesday, June 6th, 2018. First on the list here to take a look at is First Solar. Continues to get pounded, but you're looking at a bottom today. You can see it kissed gap window, this pivot high right here as well. That's the low of the day on the daily chart. Look at the multitude of oversold days today. We've had one, two, three, four, five straight down days. This is going to bounce. It's going to bounce into the next couple days off of this level. I have a short-term target right here uh, to the upside just above $60. Uh, that's basically another 5 bucks to the upside. And again, it got as low as fifty-two sixty-one today, so uh, that would be $7 plus when all is said and done. But I will say this, eventually it's going to turn back lower and head lower. So this is just a short-term swing trade to the upside. And again, you look for a bounce back to about 60 bucks. Then I think it's going to start to head back down. Next stop is going to be this gap fill, which will be the ultimate buying opportunity, just sub $48 per share. So again, look for that. And again, this is this is where you have to understand swing trading how it works. Because a lot of people, you know, they'll ask me a month later, like, "Oh, you know, how, you know, are you still in that trade? Because it's gone down. You know, obviously it bounced short term, but then it went down. And you know, and I'm like, no, dude, I'm like out of that thing. I mean, we we are, you know, we got out of that with a profit. And yeah, who cares where it is now? I mean, we're we're holding these things for a few days to a week or so. Who cares where it is in a month? In fact, maybe we're getting looking to buy it again at that point. Who knows? So again, just be aware of that. Um, and again, obviously, members know my exact entries on stocks like First Solar. Uh, another stock I'm keeping a close eye. And in fact, I just pulled the trigger on a small position on the short side. I couldn't resist. I was trying to resist, and it was just too good of a short setup here. So I grabbed some short on AMD. Look at this, folks. I mean, the, it's a triple top. Now, triple tops generally, to me, um, eventually they're going to get broken to the upside, and you're going to see eventually a breakout. But when you have such an extended move, this stock has gone from basically $9 to over $15. Uh, that's over a 50% move in just a short amount of time. It needs to digest that move. So you're going to see a short-term pullback here, probably back to about the 14 or 13.75 level, this pivot area right here. Uh, once it pulls back there, I'll take my money on my short and then expect it to move higher again. So again, very interesting little price action there on AMD. Uh, another one to take a look at is Tesla. A lot of people are asking me about what's in store for Tesla. Tesla, short term, uh, very strong day today. Uh, I think it's a little overbought just for the day. As you can see here, if you connect these trend lines right here, you kind of get a pierce of that. But I honestly think it's going to go higher. I would not short this at this time. All right, I would not short. There's too many shorts in this stock already. I'm going to show you where I would short it, and this is actually a great opportunity if it gets there on a straight shot. I will look to do it. Uh, I have a level right around 340. Connect the high pivot here to the secondary high pivot right there. Look at the level right there at 340. So if it goes straight up to 340, that's where the high reward short comes into play. That's where you can look at it in a short ratio and say, okay, this is a good opportunity. Okay, so again, just be aware of that. Yes, it's overdone for a one-day event. You know, yeah, it's a big move, 9%. But I actually think it might pause for a day or two, then it's going to continue higher, and I would look for a move to about the 340 level. Going to Valero, I talked about Valero recently. I did an article on it about the topping tail here, huge topping tail, which is absolutely playing out. Beautiful continuation sell-off today. There's a little bit of support down here, which is why it's bouncing, but I'm going to tell you this. Even if you get a small bounce day, as long as that topping tail still holds, which means no closing daily candle closes above that high pivot, this is a longer-term top. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, I'm expecting bounces, sure, but the bounces institutions will sell into, and you will see further downside. All right. In other words, my short-term target for the next week is at 115 or so. And then longer term, meaning the next three months or so, I actually think it's going much, much lower. I think you have a target over the next three months. Basically, I would even say into year end, you're looking at a $100 price target on this. Okay, so again, you know, you're, you're, you're going to get bounces along the way. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be a bounce at this 115 level. Then if, eventually after the bounce, it'll break and it'll head lower eventually to 100. But downside, there is much more reward to the downside at this point than the upside. The stock is ridiculously overdone. Look at the zoomed out chart. I mean, starting basically in 2017, this was a $60 stock. It just topped out a couple days ago near 130 And again, we're not talking about some little micro, small cap. I mean, these are ridiculous moves. Granted, oil's had a great run, 
But in my opinion, it should not command a P ratio of what it commands. And you'll hear the media loves it, the financial media, CNBC crew. They're, they're all about these things. And that's really honestly a good indicator that it's probably near a top. Because remember, think about the cycle of things. So, you know, initially smart money gets into a stock. As it rises, more smart money gets in. And, and you know, a few people start noticing it, maybe hop on board. Once it's towards the end of its run, that's when the financial media, the analysts on TV start to upgrade it, start to talk about it. What does that do? It creates that secondary last surge where you get the kind of the dumb money chasing. Dumb money chases it as they pump it on TV. What ends up happening once it surges that last time, which in my opinion, this has been that last time right here. Finally, all the dumb money is in. Smart money starts to unload. That puts in a top. It won't fall quickly right away, which is why you'll just get a pullback to 115. But then you'll start to get a pullback to 115. You know, smart money again exiting. It'll get a small bounce. And then once it breaks 115, that's where you start to get the panicked dumb money that starts panicking as it falls back down, as they always lose the most on the trades. And that's just the way it works, folks. I mean, that's just insight into how the world works in trading and investing. And you need to know that. Smart money gets in early before anyone's talking about it. Dumb money gets in right at the end when everyone's talking about it. You know, and that's just, again, the way it is. All right. On that note, I'm going to leave you, but come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com, folks. Check out the track record under free services on our website. The Research Center's track record speaks for itself over 400% net gain. As I always say, if you just put 10% in a position, you're up over 40% on your portfolio this year. No hedge funds are coming close to that. In fact, they're asking us to train their traders, and we do so. Uh, obviously, we'll teach them the PPT. We'll teach anyone the PPT, price pattern time, uh, methodology, proprietary. Um, and again, this is, this is where it's at. I mean, bottom line is this is the outperforming uh, of our research center shows you proof in that the PPT works unbelievably well to the tune of literally over a 40% net gain on a, on a conservative portfolio. Aggressive portfolios could be up 70, 80, 90, 100% by now easily. Have a great one, guys. Take care.